With single sign-on, or SSO, users log in to Ryzen Cloud Next Gen once, and then they can access all their virtual desktops and apps without having to log in again. Instead, a certificate authority issues short-lived certificates for authentication. In this video, I'll show you the easiest way to set that up. Log in to Cloud Services, launch the Workspace ONE service, and manage the Horizon Cloud service. Click Integrations in the Navigation pane, click Manage on the Identity Access tile, and then click the SSO Configurations tab. Click Add to start the wizard. For the name, you can name it what you like. I'm going to name it after my domain. For certificate authority mode, for this test environment, we'll use root. For more information about all this stuff, see the documentation topic called About Using of CA for SSO with Horizon Cloud Service Next Gen. For the configuration domain name, I don't know if you can see it there, but the example starts with CN equals configuration, and we'll use that. Then comma, and DC equals, and then your domain name, comma, and DC equals com. Then select a domain that you registered, as described in an earlier video in the series, and click Add. Okay, so now we need to download the CA bundle. You can either click these three vertical dots and download the bundle to whatever machine you are on and then copy it to your domain controller, or else go into the Horizon Universal Console on your domain controller, navigate to this page, and then click the dots to download the bundle. Click the dots and select Download CA Bundle. On the domain controller, which is in your data center, extract all the files from the zip file, I'm going to put them in a temp file called bundle SSO. I think I need to see what the file extensions are because I need to figure out which one is the .ps1 file. Now I thought I would be clever and just run this by right clicking and choosing run with PowerShell. And that seems to be working. It's asking if I want to change the execution policy. I'll just say yes. And then it wants confirmation, yes. Things seem to be happening, and then I don't know what happened. So I go back and try it the old-fashioned way from the command line. I have to go to the right directory and type in the name of the file, and it asks if I want to publish the CA certificate to AD. Yes. And then stuff happens, and it says the script executed successfully. That's more like it. Now if I go open the log file, I can see that it ran the certutil dspublish command to publish a root certificate, and it added the cert to the DS store. And I see that it published the baseline certificate revocation list and added it to the DS store. And here it published the delta certificate revocation list and added it to the DS store. And finally, it adds the certificate to the enterprise NT auth store and the computer policy is updated successfully. Now, it might be that the first thing I tried, the right-clicking and choosing Run with PowerShell, did work, because when I looked in this log, it also said that some of this stuff was done twice. I don't know. But anyway, this SSO thing is now done. In our next video, we'll do some preparatory tasks in Microsoft Azure to get ready for deploying a Horizon Edge there. For more Horizon Cloud technical resources, be sure to visit techzone.omnisa.com.